Hi folks, welcome back to the cabin at Frog Hollow. Today we're tying some steelhead flies. Uh, no exception, this fly accounted for God knows how many steelhead back in my guide days. I developed this fly specifically for the early stone fly uh, emergence uh, activity on the Pear Marquette. So I nicknamed it the PM Stone. Been a lot of people tie it since, uh, but it's all basically the same pattern. It's a simple pattern, copper wire, peacock hurl, pheasant tail, and a little bit of speckled hen saddle for legs. So let's tie the PM Stone. We're using a TMC 2457 in a size 8. It's a very strong curve shank hook as you can see and let's dress the hook lay down a pad of thread we want to come around on the bend of the hook to give it that lifelike nymph look next we want to we're going to use a pheasant central feather for the tail, the shell back, and the wing case. So it's all one feather. We're going to cut out about a quarter of an inch of the pheasant tail central. We're going to straighten up those barbels so the ends are all even like that. This is a relatively short tail. Again, this is an impressionistic nymph, not a realistic nymph. What we're going for here is size and color, and those are the first two things that uh, fish key in on, is first size and then color, and then, you know, what does it look like? So, not quite the length of the shank of the hook. We're going to tie in the tail, transfer that to your opposite of your thread handling hand, if you happen to be right or left-handed. That's what the tail tie-in is going to look like. We're going to take this now and fold it back and get it out of our way because we're going to continue to use that across the back of the nymph and for uh, the wing case. Next we're going to add our medium copper wire. So we're going to tie that in. And then finally, peacock, couple sprigs, maybe, maybe three peacock hurls. I like them nice and fat. We'll lay that material down the body to help build the, the mass of the body. And here we go. The magic of peacock has this iridescence that nothing else has. So now we're going to bring the pheasant over for the shell back. It gets right on top of the hook. We're going to rib it with the copper wire. I'll show you that when we get ready to tie this off. That's what that looks like. Kind of cool. Now we're going to take the wing material or the balance of the pheasant tail fibers. We're going to lock those back like so. Our trusty speckled hen saddle. We're going to tie this in by the tip.
That's going to be the legs when we go forward. I'm going to snip that tip out. Now. And finish with the peacock hurl right here. Now I say this is a steelhead fly. This this can be used obviously for. I mean we've caught tons of trout, tons of suckers. Uh, you know anything that feeds on aquatic nymphs in the springtime or any time is going to eat this fly. So now we're going to take that speckled hen saddle and fold that forward. That's going to be the leg. So that's just going to go right on top. I'm going to show you what that looks like here. I'll just twist that around so you can see it's just laying flat across the top of the hook. Cut that out. And the last part of the fly is the wing case that gets pulled forward. I'm just going to put a little crease in it right there. Looks good. Now I'm going to reposition this hook because of the severe bend in that hook. If you don't reposition that tie-off point, sometimes the thread will just spin right off the eye of the hook. So I like to reposition the hook, point it up so the thread doesn't come bailing off at the eye. Trim that off tight. Very few wraps here. We're not, we don't want to make a big honking head here. This is, this is just a low profile. Whip finish. Snip. And there is the PM stone. Great fly. Fish it with confidence.